Well, today is the final day to register to vote in West Virginia for the June 9th primary election. County clerks are getting ready for that big day, but in-person voting may look a little bit different this year. 13 News reporter Aaron Noon explains. This year's primary election is going to be unlike any other election. This election is underway, and next week it's just going to pick up with the early voting. The West Virginia National Guard delivered hand sanitizer to the Putnam County Clerk's Office on Tuesday, ahead of early voting, which begins next week. This is all an effort to help protect the health and safety of the poll workers and voters who plan to cast their ballot in person. Secretary of State Mac Warner expects in-person voting numbers to significantly drop statewide this year due to COVID-19. Well, in a typical election, you only have about two to three percent of the people who request an absentee ballot. But in this election, we are at already about 20 percent of the registered voters have already requested across the state uh, these absentee ballots. So that's the big change with this particular election. Despite fewer people voting in person, Putnam County Clerk Brian Wood says that safety is their top priority. You know, we, we never want to get lax in, in how we feel. Uh, because obviously this virus is dangerous and, and, and is concerning, but at the same time, we still got to live life. There's a lot of people like that tradition of voting on Election Day, and that is the gold standard. A standard that your county clerk's office is trying to protect for many elections to come. For the people that want to vote in person, it's just to let you know that we are making extra efforts to try to, to do what we can to make them feel comfortable and make them feel secure in coming to, to, to vote in person. In Putnam County, Aaron Noon, 13 News, working for you. The Putnam County Clerk's Office says they're always in need of poll workers. If you're interested, we have information on how to become one. Just head to our website at wowktv.com and look for Aaron's story.